What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Junior from CR4200. Welcome to another week. Welcome to another ammo hunt. If you're new to the channel, every week we go around from Cabela's, Walmart, uh, we hit Academy and we just go, go in, do ammo hunt, see what we can find, see what's on the shelf, see what the prices look like, see what the availability looks like. If you're returning to the channel, we appreciate you guys checking out the video as usual. So we're about two weeks into Russia invading the Ukraine. So we're not sure yet how that's gonna impact us here in America or globally as far as supplies uh, and everything in between and including ammunition. So it's just gonna make the prices spike again here in a few weeks, maybe, remains to be seen. Uh, it's just gonna lead to another spike in shortages over the next few weeks, that remains to be seen too. So we'll keep an eye on it. Like I said, it's been a couple of weeks now since Russia invaded the Ukraine. So maybe this week we'll start to see some impact on the shelves. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Let's get to store number one. Let's get it cracking. All right, guys, we made it in here to Academy. Got a bunch of nine millimeter ammo up here. Been doing really good with the nine millimeter ammo. Got some of that Federal we may actually pick up for some testing. Shelves look really promising on nine millimeter. Got some 45 down here. 40 and look at that some super carry 30 which is the first time we've actually seen this on the shelves in the store so pretty promising to see also 300 blackouts 243 65 creedmoor 450 bushmaster down here 350 legend Still got a bunch of this 308 ammo in here. And as usual, we got our 22 up here and uh, 223 556. Bunch of shotgun ammo here, too. Back in the scope smith. Got some 556, 762 by 39, bunch of 308. But that bullpup right there is really, really sweet. I don't know if it's gonna come home with me, but it's a really, really sweet rifle. Got a bunch of good rifles here. I don't ever show you guys the rifles when I'm in this place, but these got some really, really nice rifles. Over here, we got some 243, some 240 Magnum, seven millimeter wisdom, 25 out six. We got some 300 Weatherby down here, 300 Wind Mag, <clears throat> some 40 over here, 9 millimeter Lawman, 12 gauge, some more 40 down here. What else we got? Got some more self defense rounds over here. May grab a box of that HST 147 grain for some testing. Bunch of 10 millimeter here too. All right, well, it's just kind of an overview of the handgun ammo. Got some 380 here, a little bit of nine millimeter. Still got this 30 super carry down here. Got some 380. Some 40 Smith & Wesson. Definitely a lot less 9mm today than we've been seeing in here. 556, five, don't have much of it in here today. Still got a bunch of 300 Blackout. Still got a bunch of 450 Bushmaster. Got some 350 Legend. Couple of boxes of 270 here. Still got a ton of 308. 762 by 51, which is still 308. Do have a, quite a bit of 223 up here. But overall, 
The shifts this week are a lot more bleak than they have been, especially in this academy over the past few weeks. So I'm not sure what to attribute that to, but looks like guys are yanking up more ammo over the last week, week and a half than they have been. All right, so we drove a little further into Houston and we're checking out another academy. Had them into this academy in a few months. Let's see what they got here. Some nine millimeter, 21.99, two low ammo. Got some 30 super carry up here, 21.99, couple of boxes of that. But if this is supposed to be their nine millimeter, you guys can see shelves are pretty, pretty bare. One nine millimeter, some 223, some 308. 350 Bushmaster down here. A little bit more 308. Some 300 Blackout. Some 3030. A couple of boxes. And then down here, you got a bunch of shotgun shells. But this uh, this academy is pretty pretty disappointing. These guys don't have a lot uh, by way of ammo, and maybe we're starting to see some of the effects of what's going on with the Russian conflict, and people just mass buying ammo. But you guys can see the shelves here are pretty bare. All right, so we'll shut it down, and we'll head to our next spot. All right, so we're here for day number five this week. Give you guys an overview. Let's see what we got here. 270 win 350 legend 450 bushmaster 308 308 been pretty consistent over the last few weeks got some 556 up here 223 Got some more 556 five, here. I think that price has gone up. Those were like 109 a few months ago. 762 by 51. Still got some 300 black out here. Looks like we got noticeably less nine millimeter up here. Still got this 30 super carry down here. Some 380 rounds. 40. And again, the nine millimeter. We've seen this as low as fourteen ninety nine over the last few months. All right, we'll sign off from here and show you guys what we picked up. What's up, guys? We made it back to the house. Week number three of our ammo hunt is in the books. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. So a few weeks ago, we did a thirty super carry video. If you don't know, thirty super carry is new this year. I will put a link right here for the 30 super care video for you guys to go check it out. It's a really, really good video. And let me know your comments. Let me know what you guys think about the new caliber. Also, my good buddy Tools and Targets, he also has a YouTube channel. I'll put a link to his video at the end of this video. So make sure you guys stick around, check out his video too, because it's a really good video. So my overall thoughts right now on ammo, obviously we have a conflict, a war going on between Russia and Ukraine right now. And I think that may be starting to have a slow or trickle effect or impact on what we saw this week on our shelves, uh, not directly, but indirectly due to panic buying. So we'll keep an eye on that over the next few weeks and see how, how that matriculates and see what happens. Um, but that's kind of my overall thoughts right now. We just gotten back to the point where ammo was pretty prevalent on the shelves, at least here in the Houston area. And then bang, uh, we'll get here with this. So. We'll keep an eye on it and let you guys know our thoughts and what we see, especially here in the Houston area. So what we picked up this week, we got this Federal Punch 124 grain. Uh, we'll be doing some ballistic gel testing with this here in a few weeks. That's why we grabbed that. We got this Brownie X-Point. This is 147 grain. We'll be doing some self-defense uh, testing with this. And we also got this Hornady American Gunner. And I believe this is 115 grain. It's also a Jackson Hollow Point. Uh, we'll be doing some testing with all three of these. We also picked up some nine millimeter. Uh, this is 115 grain. This is just some training uh, ammunition for my son now to get out and plink with. And then we also got this 380. Uh, we just picked this up to go out and do some plinking with this too. So 
I appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll link right here to Tools and Targets 30 Super Care video. Like I said, if you haven't checked out mine or his, go check out both of them. Appreciate you guys checking out this video and all of our videos. Junior, out.